hello peeps and welcome back to the channel uh, in this video you would have noticed by the little thumbnail we're going to be fitting a swivel base you would have seen in the Rusty Lee video that I actually decided to get one whilst I was there the reason behind that is I personally think they're the best ones on the market um, the, they don't pull back and then swivel they literally just swivel on the spot you can still access everything inside the seat and the I suppose like the gripping points that hold the seat still are on the outside so you don't need to go into the inside of the seat empty all that rubbish out um, remove the bolts and malarkey and then you're like oh god what a faff you can just literally undo the front two at the front and undo the two at the back and then swivel it around but anyway Let's get cracking. So what we've got to do to start with is remove the double seat. To do that, you're going to want to take out the eight bolts that are holding it in place. The two screws here that are holding all of this wiring loom in just for the cigarette lighter uh, fuse. Uh, and this set of, light, uh, set of lights, oh my days, this set of cables down the bottom. Again, it's just got a couple of the Torx bits. I think it's like Torx 30. Uh, and I think they're uh, 16 mil bolt head so I'm just going to get all that undone get these two bits sorted and then drop it out once the seats out we've got to deal with the wiring that's underneath the seat uh, most of this is like central locking stuff um, I know that that's uh, this 15 amp is the cigarette fuse board you know all that sort of stuff but we're going to try and hide this now there's a cubby hole here only a very tiny one but the seat base itself won't quite touch the floor so what we're going to do is remove all of these brackets going to unplug all of these get rid of that bracket uh, we're going to pop that out get rid of that bracket and just make things a little bit smaller and then we can start trying to in a um, practical term shove it all underneath the mat so once those brackets are removed, what you're kind of left with is a bit of spaghetti. Now what we're going to do is just pretty much shove that underneath that mat. What I suggest you do <laughs> is not quite shove it under. What I suggest you try and do is feel underneath and you'll be able to thread this down to around about that position. You'll also be able to thread this down to around about that position. What you don't want to be doing, obviously, is forgetting where you've put stuff. So ideally, you want to remember that you've put your cigarette thingy down there. So obviously, if the cigarette fuse goes at any particular time, and the cigarette lighter stops working, you know where the fuse is. Um, if I was a mobile auto electrician, I guess I would move that. But I don't know how to do it. Okay, you'll see that I've managed to get mine just in here and I've test fitted the actual swivel base on top but what you can see this is the bottom of the swivel base and there's like a recess in here so you do have a bit of space you're not going to squash those cables now I'm also going to add a slight tilt what you want to be doing if you're fitting the bed oh sorry <laughs> I'm getting excited because I was fitting that bed in it. What you want to be doing, if you're going to be fitting the um, swivel base flat in its existing point, is take about 10 mil off the top of the four front nuts that are sticking out. So you're going to cut them down slightly. Whereas I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be putting um, the old bolts in and then use the new bolts that Rusty Lee provided to do it back up again. So I'll have a slight lean when we're traveling, but obviously when the chair spun round, it might be flattened again. Does that make sense? But yeah, we'll try it out. We can always change it and cut the tops off. But for now, we're just gonna pop the old boats, bleh, the old nuts on, and then get the seat base in position. And then I'll show you how to work it. Right, so first honest error during this video, a uh, strange one for me, usually you can just sort of edit and just go back and go, oh yeah, sort of loud, and this is how you do it. 
but you have to use the existing and original bolts that held the seat down to hold the seat the swivel base down so what i've done instead is replace the bolts at the front with four washers which turn out to be around about four five about seven millimeters so it's not quite the 10 mil then you use the bolts supplied by rusty to fit the seat to the swivel base i knew i'd get there in the end right so i've got one two three four more bolts to get done up tight and then we'll look at putting the seat back on and then we'll have a little play 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 we'll have a little play and spin the seat round there you are literally spinning it around it's like a one of those impossible puzzle things um, but you're spinning it about until you can get access to the bolts and then you're getting them done up so these ones are nice and tight along the front I'm just going to spin it back into position now there we go and I'm going to get these points locked in and once these are locked in I'm going to put the, um, in fact, I'm going to probably just lock off two. So I'm going to lock off that one. And then I'm going to lock off this one. I'm going to lift up the seat and get the seat bolted down onto these bolts that are on the shawl base. Now we are back in the back of the van. Um, the chair's all in. Some of you keen uh, viewers, watchers will notice that the van is a bit different. Um, I wanted to make sure I could turn this seat round properly before I showed you how to do it. Um, so I've, I've, I've been away in the bus, I've almost pretty much finished. You'd have seen in the last video that I fitted um, some uh, seat covers. So the seat covers are actually already on now as they weren't on in the beginning of the video. So what we're gonna do is undo the four uh, release mechanisms and then we're going to turn the seat round. So here's the rear two. And you literally turn them until they pop out. Okay, now what they've got inside is like a retaining locking nut. So you can see that won't actually come out and then this washer obviously won't disappear either so these guys are quite straightforward to line up so you can just screw them back up right so those two are released and then these are the front two so again you literally turn them until they pop out and now the seat is loose Right, so let's spin it round. So, edge it forward ever so slightly, and then you're gonna literally wanna try and turn it. I recommend you go, if you're pushing it from the back, you go right hand side first, obviously the front would be the left hand side. But you go right hand side first, and you're gonna wiggle it forward and backwards, as well as turning it. Now you are gonna get a little bit of jamming on the handbrake, and you are gonna get a little bit of jamming on the B pillar. Bear with it, it will spin round. Here we go. It is pretty tricky, but it's definitely doable. I've got it back where I like it. You can, Pull it forward and lock it in, but I tend to leave it as far back as I can get it. It doesn't move much, there's a little bit of movement in it, but when I'm sat in the chair, I'm just that little bit further back. So, um, honesty is always the way forward. So, a couple of things that I don't like about it, um, it is fairly tricky to get it to spin round. You'll see in that that I still struggle with it. I must have turned it around about 50 times trying to get 
trying to get it right. Now obviously at some stage it will click and I'll get it perfect. But at least I can spin it round and I'm happy with how it looks once it's spun round. Another thing that I'm not overly happy with, but then I guess it's all of the swivel bases. Because there are a certain thickness, it makes this chair a lot higher. I mean, that's not really something to not like about it, to be honest. But anyway, so that is it really. That's the Rusty Lee double swivel base. Absolutely awesome bit of kit. I'm super chuffed with it. Um, once it's spun round, the kids can like climb up straight into the roof. Uh, and when we're having lunch, we can have the bed down, so the bed will finish around in this area sort of here and then we've got our table out and you can just sit and chill out. Um, what I think I'm going to try and invest in is one of these mini tables that spin around here. Um, but apart from that, the van is almost, almost ready to go. So join me in the next video. I'll be showing you how to fit your um, tested bed, your rock and roll bed, your rusty Lee bed. Um, a lot of companies out there are doing a very similar design to the Rusty Lee bed um, and are trying to copy the plate that sits underneath the vehicle. Um, but I'll show you that one. I'll show you in a bit of detail as to how, where and what and how and, and so forth. So this is Tom, this is T-Dubs. This is the Rusty Lee swivel seat. This is the Black Beauty build. I'll see you guys soon.